Previously on Apprentice A. To me, the only bear is Winnie the Pooh. Everyone else is an imposter. She left the dart in the apple. You can't do that in a movie. Are you guys ready to see something amazing? Yeah. So that's called targeting, which is to teach the dog to touch his nose to specific things. Look at this construction. Oh, Toronto. Toronto's great. Man, I, I have never actually been this close to construction while it's going on. Look at how cute that dog is. Yeah, Saskia's really cute. Oh, you, you I made that joke the other day. And insulted her like back, in the same sentence. It's like a backhanded compliment. Well, that's pretty much exact. That's exactly. What <laughs> that's it. just the worst. <laughs> so about four years ago, yeah, in uh, in early 2012, we went and we got ourselves a Canon C300. We and did. We, was that four years ago? It was about four years ago. No, three, three years, years ago. ago. So about three years ago. We went and got ourselves a Canon C300 camera, and getting that was really remarkable, revolutionary for us. We had never really been able to afford anything like that. That was really cool, um, and we've used that to shoot any of the videos that we've made in the past three years. Stuff on Apprentice Facts, Logumentary, all kinds of stuff. Because we got that Canon C300 over a couple of years, we eventually built a relationship with Canon, Canon ended up being a sponsor of Buffer Festival, both in 2013 and in 2014. And today, they have sent us a box for us to keep. The box. We get to keep the box. <laughs> What's in the box, uh, we don't get to, like, 100% keep. We get to, to use. And that's just as good because we get to use it. And that's all that really matters, right? If we're shooting. The goal is to make videos. The goal is not to own things. I just want to make cool things yeah. for a living. So, uh, it's mostly paper. Yep. And uh, across the paper is the new, is a new box for something that's not even out yet. Is it? Is that I true? I think it's out. Okay. We have a dog in a box. <laughs> and here we have the new Canon C100 <laughs> Mark II, which is brand spanking new. And we are actually going to use this to shoot a, a, a video that they are going to use. Like one of their canon, like, promo videos to buy, he's not a cat, to buy <laughs> the C100 Mark II. We're actually going to shoot a video that's going to hopefully convince people to buy a C100 Mark II. I think that's pretty cool. So, a couple years ago, the C300 cost us almost $20,000. Yeah. Today, they just send us these things for free. But we don't get to keep it. <laughs> so, but pretty freaking cool. It's still very, very, yeah. very cool. Let's open the box. Take a look. So, we've got a bunch of papers and a bunch of boxes in the boxes. Thanks, Saskia. Mm -hmm. And a see. bunch of pieces. <sighs> there it is. Wow. Yeah. It's like a C3 kit. It's a C3 kit. Uh, a little lighter, a little smaller, but that's because it's a C100, not a C300, but a lot cheaper. <laughs> um, I think it's like five or six. And by cheaper, I mean inexpensive. Not I cheap. see. I mean, this is that's a that's a good uh, high quality uh, high quality stuff here. I don't see anything. The screen is on the actual camera. Yeah, the screen's there. Cool. Uh, and there's a lot of features. It has a bigger fan. There's a lot of features. It has that the Mark One version um, doesn't have. And yeah, I think it can do 1080-60p. Oh. Yeah. I know it has built-in mic. Oh yeah, built-in microphone. And which is the nice. screen's attached, built-in built -in mic. And then a newer codec. Newer so, codec. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I thought I was up next. <laughs> Thank you guys for being so patient. He's gonna take his boots off. He wants, he wants to clomp around. <laughs> And that, that, that's against our rules. He's a storyteller and a pastor from downtown Hamilton. Everybody please welcome Kevin Makins. Thanks, good to be here. It is interesting to be here because I was literally just working. So being here talking with the theme of work uh, is an interesting twist. I was just at an Ash Wednesday service and I'm a pastor. I made a terrible mistake today. I uh, ventured out into the blizzard to head to Hamilton because some of my friends were telling stories at a CBC Radio 1 like storytelling event and uh, forgot to charge my camera before I left so 
whatever. <laughs> it was like a really cool space and my fav one of my favorite artists had um, like an exhibition going up in the space while this show was going on and my friend who's a comedian performed and my friend who's a pastor performed and uh, I forgot to charge my battery so I didn't get any of it. Well that's okay because I can tell you a story anyway. Um, here's a fun little tidbit for what it's like to live in Canada if you don't live in Canada. Um, so I'm at the bus station and um, I usually use an umbrella when it's snowing out and it was snowing really heavily today. Because I don't see the point in walking around while there's precipitation falling out of the sky and hitting me in the face um, when I could just use an umbrella and it wouldn't do that. You get a lot of strange looks, but it works, and I suggest that you do it. So I'm standing at this bus stop, and uh, there's a guy standing beside me who is umbrella-less, and we sort of stand in silence uh, for about 15 minutes. The bus was late because of the snow, obviously, and we stand there, and we stand there, and then he turns to me, and he says, oh, are you waiting for this bus? And I turn to him and I joke, oh, well, actually, at this point, I'd take any bus that'll get me out of this weather. And then in the most Ontarian accent, he said, oh, yeah, but it's not that bad, eh? I mean, like, yesterday it was negative 22 and today it's only negative 7 and there's no wind chill. I mean, this weather's pretty nice, actually. And while he was saying that, he had this pile of snow collecting on his head because he wasn't wearing a toque and it was like three centimeters tall at that point and I just looked up at it and I was like it's gonna be winter forever anyway I learned my lesson don't complain about the weather in Canada because literally nobody cares if you don't like the cold because that's all there is here home is where the fog is